Hello and welcome all. Now it's been a while since I've done an upload like today, but I could not resist when I saw the game announced. It's called Icarus. It's a survival game with a basic recipe when it comes to other survival titles. But unlike other titles out there, Icarus is a completely unique and brilliant feature. Now before I get onto that feature, I just want to say if you enjoy the upload today, don't forget to press that like button. And why not check out the channel for everything and anything survival for the console. And look, if you're going to go and check the channel out, why not press the old subscribe button. And hit that notification bell to know when every upload is available. But enough of that, let's talk Icarus. So Icarus is from the team Rocket Works. Now this may be an unknown to a few of you, but the main man behind the team is a man called Dean Hall. The genius behind the hugely popular Daisy zombie survival game. He left the Daisy team in 2014 and has now brought us this little gem of a game. It's sort of a sci-fi survival title. You start in orbital space with your companions, which I should mention by the way, is a co-op multiplayer title. So yes, you can team up with your friends. But with your companions, you choose a mission or a contract if you like, and you head off from your hub towards an alien planet. Now, these missions you are given are timed, so you could be given minutes or even hours to complete your objective. Now while you're there, you complete your job, you can stray off the path, it's not a problem, you can go and explore. Maybe try some hunting, collect some rare exotic resources, or maybe even build a base. But be warned, the unique feature to this survival title is if you run over the time, the transport which is supposed to safely get you back to your hub will leave without you, leaving you stranded on an alien planet to die, run out of oxygen, losing all the progress up to that point, so it's all gone. It's utterly brutal, and this, mixed with the risk of trying to complete the contract with the local alien cr uh, creatures trying to take a bite out of you or even the planet itself is out to get you it's not going to be easy and as I said if you slip up you die you get left behind you lose everything it's utterly utterly brutal but it's just how it is it's almost a permadeath with no choice of whether or not you play this permadeath now Dean Hall did explain at the PC gaming show that he wanted to recreate the first few hours of games like DayZ, Minecraft and stretch that over a whole game. It's such a unique idea. The sort of short bursts of the adventures on an alien planet, gathering resources to upgrade your tech back at your orbital space station, getting to your space station and sharing these resources with friends, deciding what missions you want to take on, where to explore next, managing not only your vitals and your resources but your time calculating the risks of that final push in this beautiful alien planet I honestly honestly cannot wait to see what this one is like it's just so unique just the manager of the time I think it's going to be one of those things I can almost imagine so many scenarios where you're out there with your friends and somebody passes out because if they pass out from oxygen you have got a chance of trying to revive them as long as you've got time on your side same with these different alien attacks they can go down injured and just like in Daisy, you can heal said person that's injured. But I can imagine there's going to be some dilemmas where your transport is there, waiting, ready to go. You've got seconds on the clock. One of your teammates go down. What do you do? Do you leave them there, stranded on an alien planet? It's just, I can imagine the stories that are going to come out of this game. That's what I cannot wait. It's just so many little stories within a game full of this exploration and beauty. Now... These details for the release time frame are a little quiet at the moment. There's not really a set date put down. It might be due to the delays in the world at the moment or maybe until next gen is released. But so far, 2021 is rumoured for the release. And from the sounds of it, it's going to be for both console and PC players. So for once, it's going to be spread across the board. Now obviously, although it will be to everyone, you're going to have to assume that somebody's going to get it first to trial it. So let's just imagine it's probably going to be PC players that would get it and there'll be a beta or some alpha test it'll probably go above consoles as well and but it will I imagine it's going to come out at different times but 2021 is supposed to be when all consoles and PCs are getting it so we'll wait and see what happens with that one so that is pretty much everything I currently have information wise for Icarus now as soon as more details are relayed I'll make sure to get it straight out to you all so yeah, that's it. Big thank you to all for watching today. Stay safe, everyone. Thank you, and goodbye.